For many years, I cooked my meatloaf variation one. Over the years, I've changed ingredients. I've added ingredients. I've definitely made it my own, different from what my father taught me how to do it. Um, I decided to put a Latin American twist into it, being that I have ingredients that can change the cultural background of the dish. So by using the salsa lisano, which is a Central American steak sauce, it's sort of uh, a m combination of A1 sauce and Worcestershire sauce, but it's a traditional Central American sauce that's used on um, steaks. Um, I discovered that sauce when I went to Costa Rica. So I decided that instead of just using many plain old ketchup and uh, our common Worcestershire sauce, I decided to add the two and I created a very delicious and savory gravy uh, combining beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, and salsa lisano. And that has become my gravy, my trademark meatloaf. For many years, I stuffed the hard-boiled eggs into the meatloaf. And for some reason, I was never completely satisfied on how it came out. I felt like the egg, the hard-boiled egg, sort of dried out the meat on the inside. Uh, so I had an epiphany a few months ago, and I decided to just make the meatloaf and allow the full gravy to absorb within the entire meat and pan sear it almost like a hamburger so that it can sort of seal in the juices and then complete the cooking process in the oven but I said to myself well I still want egg because that's how my father taught me how to do it so it sort of popped into my head to make a deconstructed meatloaf and instead of stuffing a hard-boiled, dried egg in the middle of the meatloaf, I decided to just fry the egg over easy, make sure that the yolk is not fully cooked, so that when I make it into a sandwich, the yolk just drips and breaks onto the meatloaf, onto the bread, combining with the mayo, combining with the, the, the gravy that I, that I make. And it turned out to be... A heavenly dish as you can see from the feedback of my judges um, that I invited over to taste both variations they felt that taste wise both of them were equally delicious uh, but they definitely took variation two as their favorite because it had texture it had a different element a layer uh, a layer of, of, of flavor with the egg yolk breaking through. So their choice was variation two. Obviously my choice is variation two. Um, and I had a blast doing this project. I had a blast doing this class. Uh, cooking is my passion. And I felt sort of like a female Alton Brown as I was going through the semester. So I am very grateful. And um, I learned a lot more than I thought I would. And I really hope you enjoy my project because I certainly did doing it. Uh, and I hope that you can maybe try the meatloaf in that in that way and, and, and hopefully agree with me on how delicious it came out. Thank you very much.